throwing back in or just go ahead and, and salute it out? It's all quick. good. We live again now. Slocky Akim, technical difficulties, but we're back. Uh, part two, what should you be seeking? Because, you know, all hell is about to break loose, and it is breaking loose, all right, throughout the four corners of the earth, but mainly uh, wait till it hits America, man, all right? America's not going to be able to withstand the judgment that's coming to it, man. So what should you Israelites be seeking? Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Let the wicked forsake his way. Go ahead. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. Uh-huh. And let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and he will have mercy upon him. That's right, man. Hold Amos 5 and 4, somebody. Um, mm -hmm. You know, supposed to be seeking the Lord because through the Lord's salvation, man. All right? We got to seek him while he may be found because the Lord's going to hide his face again, man. All right? What happened when the Lord hid his face from us the first time, man? We went through pure hell. Didn't know who we were. Being carted off on cargo slave ships. You know? Being dragged throughout the uh, all, all nations throughout the four corners of the earth, didn't know who he was. That's what happened when 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 the Lord gets gets quiet, man. When he turns his backs on us, man. There's a such thing as too late when it comes to seeking the Lord. Somebody holds Sirach five and seven on deck. Go ahead. Yep. <clears throat> you want that? Which one you want first? Don't matter. All right. Um, this is Sirach chapter five, verse seven. Yep. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. That's right, man. The scripture said make no tarrying means don't put it off. What are you putting seeking the Lord off for, man? Waiting to see if you're gonna get that record deal, waiting to see if you're gonna get that uh, athletic scholarship, waiting to see if you're gonna get that promotion and a new job. What are you waiting to seek the Lord for? All hell to break loose. For you to be in a concentration camp, for you to be starving your ass off, your kids starving their ass off, what are you waiting for? You got it. <clears throat> yep. It reads on and put not off from day to day. Mm -hmm. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah, and thy security. And I, I looked at word before, man. It goes back to, um, matter of fact, somebody get it. I want to say it, it, it's, it's politics, um, money. I want to say religion, but somebody get that definition if they if if they can. Brothers got another phone or something like that. Oh, I do. Just give me one moment. Okay. So, you know, the, the, the scriptures say, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. For in thy security, the things you find comfort in, the Lord's going to visit our people. Right? And our people find comfort in many things. Right? When the scriptures tell you, this is the comforter, man. This is the comforter, man. You got something on the come? Yeah, real quick. Yeah, go ahead. This is Hosea, chapter 5, yep. verse 15. I will go and return to my place to the acknowledge their offense. And that's what the children of Israel need to understand. They need to understand that they have offense. Look, you know, your how about me? I was shy, man. By worshiping other gods, deities, okay? The way carry on the ways of this world, which is pure wickedness, not serving your how by Simeon Rashad in sincerity and in truth. All right. That's what happened, it's still going on to this day. But what we are here to put you in remembrance of the old path, the old ways. That's why people need to be seeking, man. Because that old path, those old ways, which is righteousness, leads to salvation. You got it, Shawai? Uh, yep, yeah, you said uh, the definition of security, right? Right. Yep, yeah, it's uh, loading up right now. Okay. Fans, yours out to come? Yep. Yeah, it says, 
till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and their affliction, they will seek me early. Yeah, but look, and this go round is gonna be too late. It's gonna be too late, man. The doors of mercy are gonna be closed. Cause there's a there, 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 there's a time of getting this truth. This truth is time sensitive, like the elder like to say, man. Manatazabba likes to say, this truth is time sensitive, man. This train waits for no one. Either you get on while it's passing through, or look, man. You, we see you in the camp on the other side, man. You know. Mm -hmm. You got your why? Yep. The definition of security. Uh -huh. <clears throat> It reads, uh, this This is a Google definition, the yep. uh, state of yep, the state of being free from danger or threat. Mm -hmm. um, that's one definition. Um, and then the um, synonyms, or did you want a, a deeper definition? Give me another definition and then I'll go to the synonyms. Okay, this other, uh, yep, the second definition um we'll get more oh yeah um a a um the state of feelings oh okay this is, the state of feeling safe stable and free from fear or anxiety uh -huh. yep um and then the um synonyms <clears throat> uh safety protection uh -huh. S safekeeping, uh -huh. care, um, a defense. Let me go back. And look, I people find yep. defense in all types of things. Religion is one of them. Mm -hmm. Which Christianity is going to fail mm -hmm. our people on that day, man. They're spelling them now. All right. The political mm -hmm. side of things. You know what? What the scriptures say? Our people have. Uh, Somebody get that in limitations. Our people have looked for um, limitations. Um, Chapter four. Yeah. A nation that could not save them. Mm -hmm. Right? You know what is that to come? That's it, yeah. Why? Okay. Uh, what is it? Four and 21? Yeah, four and 21. Tw um. No, four, four and 17. Four and 17. Oh, 17, kind of. The water. Yeah. Whoever got it first, mm -hmm. This limitation, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our being held. And our watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. That's right. That top nation is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right. Our people have gone down to them for the help. And, and you know, and this devil was never set up to save us, man. You know, they, they this, this vote or die, you know. All that's nonsense, man. This man was not set up to help help you in any type of way, man. That's why we need to be seeking the Lord. Every single time this man promised you this, promised you that. You know, what's the clip brother just put up? You know, Biden said he, he just, he, he's ran out of ways to help Jake. He's yeah. ran out of ways to help Jake, man. And, 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 you know, no answers. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Let me read that one more time. Kind. This is Limitations, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. Us is talking about the Israelites. <laughs> the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. That's the us. Who do we look for? Right? Our people go down to Egypt for help. Right? Except for uh, uh, trusting in your how about Shemel Bashai. Go ahead. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. Every four years, every eight years. Right? Well, the Lord told us to be seeking him, man. Go ahead. Yep. 
You want verse 18? Uh, what did it say? They aren't our steps that we cannot go in our streets. No, no, that's, that's all I wanted. Right. So I wanted. So what was, what was we holding? I had a quick precept of Zephaniah real quick. Bring it out. All right, talk about it. This is Zephaniah chapter 3. No, this is Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. Yep. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Shema was shy, all ye meek of the earth. All you humble. That's what the word meek me means. It means to be humble. We have instructions, man. We have instructions. The things that was written four times, written for our learning, Romans 15 and 4. That main thing was to seek. When you're seeking, seeking something, you got to go looking for it, man. You got to go looking for it. You know, it's not going to just, you know, come to your doorstep. You got to go find the Lord, man. You know, our people search for Waldo. They search for money, search for women. All types of things, uh, drugs, except for Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. Go ahead. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, all ye meek of the earth. See, the Lord telling the meek, the humble, not the proud. The proud's not going to seek the Lord. They think they got everything wrapped up and sold up, man. The 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 the, the prophet don't, don't 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 seek the Lord, right? They got everything in their back pocket, because I mean, when you seek the Lord, it comes with standards. It comes with standards, and now people don't want to live up to a standard. The standards that they uphold are the ones that are given to them in Babylon, man, which is do as thou will. And if that was truly the case, why would we have the scriptures for it? Why would we have the scriptures? The scriptures is the standard. And our people are running away from it, man. Go ahead. It reads on, which have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness. Mm -hmm. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemar Shah's anger. Yeah, so seek righteousness, seek meekness, so that you may be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Remember, the Lord said he's coming back cruel, bloodthirsty, savage. The Lord's coming back with fire, remember? But what our people say, oh, that's not going to happen in my time. But have you read Ezekiel, the 12th chapter? It's going to happen in your days, Israel. This is not, this is, yo, this is something new on this side, man. Men out there on the streets prophesying, right? The downfall and destruction of, of, of Babylon, right? AKA America. This is something new on this side, man. People haven't haven't seen this, man. This should be an amazement to them. But what they take it as a joke. But the joke's gonna be on them, man. Are we out there just prophesying and chanting down this place for our health? You know what I'm saying? This is not of us, man. This is of your how about your shot. This thing we do is bigger than us. And now people don't understand it. Go ahead. It says, seek righteousness, seek meekness. And where's the righteousness at? The righteousness is right written within the scriptures, man. Righteousness is not what's being taught at these schools. These people don't care, man. These people don't care about the righteousness of the Lord. They're worried about furthering their self their children, their family, whatever they got going on in Babylon, man. You know, I had, a, I had a, a, a so-called friend of mine in the world, all right, and one of my brothers tell me, what the hell is that doing for me right now? How is me seeking the Lord going to help my situation right now? You know? And, you know, I, you know, I got so angry. I got really angry. You know, I wanted to uh, you know how Bart Simpson's dad, you know how Homer like chokes out Bart, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you little, you know? <laughs> you know, that's what I wanted to do, man. But you know, you, you know, you gotta be spiritual, you know, be more more spiritual and less carnal, you know. But you know, the thing is that that's that's what our people think, man. 
seeking the Lord for what? I done went to church already. You know? You got it, Doc. Yep. It says, seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be he should be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Yeah, in the day of the Lord's anger, man. Because remember in Matthew, the 10th chapter, the Lord says he's coming back. Um, Thank not he come with peace, but with a sword. All right. And what do you do with a sword? You just what? Do you just hold up on display and be like, hey, look at this? You know? No. You put it into action and you start killing with it. You start slaughtering it. That's what the Lord's going to do when he comes back. You know, now the question you got to ask yourself is, um, well, how should I be protected? What should I do to be on the Lord's good side? Seek him. Go look for him. Make your calling and election sure, as the scriptures say. Go ahead. That was it on that. You got something, Shawai? Yeah, <clears throat> I got something real quick. Um, this is um, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 5. Mm -hmm. and it reads, Evil men understand not judgment, mm -hmm. but, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. That's right. Evil men understand not the judgment of your how about Shemiah was shy. All right. Just like I, I did a lesson was last night on this Jake. The, uh, and they uh, went to jail because they didn't like the way they cooked this bacon, man. You know? But that was the judgment of the Lord. It was at a Waffle House. Yeah. You know? Only could have been Manessa. Could have been Ephraim. Don't matter. Still Jake. You know? Causing ruckus because they, they, didn't, they didn't make his bacon the way he wanted it. You know? Now he's now he's somewhere locked 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 the f up, man. Because Jake don't understand the judgment of Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Here we is to give you the judgment of Yahweh by Shimei was shy, right? But Jake cast it behind him. Go ahead. Yep. Um. That that was it on on that one. Read read that second part. Oh, read the second part. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, there is more. Uh, that's well, Proverbs read it twenty-eight the top. and five. Read, read it from God, the top. God. God. <clears throat> Proverbs twenty-eight and five. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. And that's and that what our people want, though. They want to understand all things, right? But it starts with seeking the Lord, fearing your power, right? Being greatly terrified of him. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, but that, that was pretty much the point, unless you want it. Uh, verse uh, seven, nah, verse six. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, what you got to come? Mm -hmm. uh, Proverbs eight and seventeen. All right, we're gonna bring out the Proverbs eight and seventeen, and then the Amos five and four. We're gonna wrap it up. Right. Ready for it? Bring it out. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. I love them that love me. That's plain. The Lord said he loved those that love him. And we should all know by now that love is keeping the commandments. It's not that, that feeling you get in your, in your heart, that muscle that pumps blood everywhere. No, man. Love is keeping the commandments. Go ahead. Proverbs 8 and 17. I love them that love me. And those that seek me early shall find me. And those that seek the Lord early. What does it mean by seeking them early? Before destruction hits, man. Before destruction hits, man. Before Jacob's trouble. Before these empty shells hit, man. Before your stomach starts touching your back. Before these pestilence and diseases arrive at your mm -hmm. door, man. Go ahead. That was it. Kind of Brandon's last one, Shawai. Um, okay, I got um. <clears throat> this is a uh, Second Chronicles, chapter uh, fifteen. I'm gonna start at twelve. Mm -hmm. And it reads, "And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord, 
power of their fathers. And who's that talking about, man? You so-called Negro Latino Native Americans by process of elimination. We are those people, man. We went to that covenant. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. They were um, going to keep these laws. We're going to do what the Lord said to. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yep. The reason. <clears throat> um, yep. With uh, all the uh, verse twelve, and they enter into a covenant to seek the Lord, power of their fathers, with all their heart. And with all their soul, mm -hmm. verse 13, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, power of Israel. Now, it's talking about the whosoever is the ones that made the covenant, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. Judah, all the way down to Issachar. Go ahead. Yep. <clears throat> the reason, um, verse 13, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, power of Israel. Mm-hmm should be put to death mm. whether small mm -hmm. now nah, you got it bro yep, yep. whether small or great mm -hmm. whether man or woman that's right man the lord said mm -hmm. look if you don't seek me you are going to perish all right mm -hmm. and the camp lesson we brought out earlier um um you know the words of the lord don't go out void man all right mm -hmm. What the Lord says happens is going to happen. So if you don't, if you don't seek Him any latter days, you're going to get put to death some way, somehow. Mm. Whether it's through the pestilence, diseases, the famine, whether it's through Amos the fifth chapter, all right. It don't matter one way or another. The Lord, the Lord got your card, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. I I got something real quick. Go ahead. Just to that point, this is Romans 10 and 18, yep. and it reads, <clears throat> But I say, have they not heard? Mm -hmm. Yes, verily. Their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. That's right, man. That's no excuse. It's not going to be any excuse because the internet is what we call the world wide web, man. And that's how this truth has went forth. That's how this everyone knows about the hebrew israelites all right and and, and the message that we're we're, we're uh, um uh, spreading across man all right that this this current rulership this age is going down and for the true believers all right of you so-called negro latino Native americans that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth not just here in america but in in all nations to come back and seek the lord man all right because destruction is coming before you can have uh, 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 one uh, empire, one, another empire has to go down. One kingdom has to go down for another kingdom to go up. And the kingdom of Edom is going down so that the nation of Israel's kingdom can go up. And they're going to build up our kingdom, man. But that's another lesson for another day. Go ahead. <clears throat> Um, meet your mic, bro. Salakia, so like, yeah, did you want more on that Romans 10 and 18? Nah. That was, yeah, that was nah, the point bring, right there. Bring that Amos 5 and 4. We'll end off on that. Okay, okay, okay. Big, big out here seeking careers. Mm -hmm. Saving up their 401. Yep. They don't realize this dollar's crashing. You know what I'm saying? Inflation is going to get ready to hit. These people are clueless, and they want to remain clueless, man. They want to remain mm -hmm. that way. That's the scary thing. You got it, bro. Yep. Um, <clears throat> it reads uh, Amos 5 and 4. Yep. For thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel. Right. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. Now that's what the Lord is saying. Now, you know the Lord. That, that's another. That's another racist uh, scripture right there, man. Mm -hmm. To the children of Israel, seek the Lord that ye may live. Well, what about the Ishmaelites? What about the Hamites? What about the Edomites? They're not gonna be living, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. The only reason why they're gonna be living is to be in servitude, man. 
Yep. <laughs> That's heavy, man. They're, they're not fit for salvation. The children of Israel are, because we made that covenant. So therefore, the sincere uh, of, of believers of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, hey, look, man, don't, don't seek nothing else but the Lord, because he's bringing death and destruction, but he's also bringing salvation. What side of the coin do you want to be on? And you seek the Lord through his men. Right? Mm -hmm. Make your call and let you sure, man. Get out to your local GMS camp. All right? And take notes. All right? Bring waters. Mm -hmm. Bring tea, something. Be a helper. Make your call and election sure for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Anything else, brothers? Mm, that's, that's it, bro. Con, con, con. You want to close this out? Yeah, come on, one more. Bring it out. Sure. All right, lock it, lock it. This is Baruch, chapter 4, verse 28. Yep. Yep. For well, as it was your mind to go astray from your high abashim, I was shy. So being returned, seek him 10 times more. That's right. The, the minds of, of our people have went astray, man. And they're all wayward doctrines into these false idols and gods. The tradition of men, as it tells you in Colossians, the second chapter, not to take on the ways of, of, of these men. All right. And these traditions. But now being returned, knowing the names, all right, of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, knowing our, our, our true biblical nationality, all right, our heritage, it's time to seek the Lord now, man. Knowing that the kingdom of heaven, all right, a righteous kingdom is coming, according to Second Peter, the third chapter, which we're supposed to be looking forward to, all right? Now is the time. We got to seek him 10 times more. With all we got, you know, to the best of our ability. That's what that's what it's about in these last days, you know. But Jake want to seek college careers. Oh, that's foolishness with the Most High, man. You know, they want to be rappers, drill music, okay, reggaeton artists. Them niggas is dead, man. The Lord gonna destroy mm -hmm. them niggas, man. If they don't repent, you know. But the point is less than just seek the Lord, man, before before, before all hell break loose, man. Make no turn and turn to the Lord. You got your why. God, God, God. Hey, look, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson on seeking the Lord, you know. Um, before we do close out, we want to give our honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. That's right, that's right. And next up, Devon Elder Gray Millstone once again told us the hundred percent truth of the Bible and who rule well. Peace, love, salutations to all the brothers across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in all diligence and sincerity. Till next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.